Hi everyone, this is going to be a short video on the prep for the lab and then I'm going to have you watch a well done video, it's only about two and a half minutes, on how to do the prep for the lab and then we'll come back and talk about the specific procedures for each of these experiments. The prep for the lab for me is I want you to go and get your materials kit for the enzyme catalysis lab that has the yeast, the pipettes, the paper filters, the medicine cups. Um, I think you need another medicine cup and we'll get to that in a second and your Petri dish. And from your equipment kit, you're going to need your forceps graduated cylinder, Put together your test tube rack, if you haven't done it already, for your uh, DNA um, enzyme lab. Your ruler, five test tubes, you're going to be marking them up with a grease pencil, a thermometer, and I would say get your two beakers. Don't just go with one. Um, you are going to need a few things that I listed in your learning module the hydrogen peroxide. The water should be bottled or purified. Um, or filtered. If you don't have access to that, you can still work on this, but you need 24 hours. And you need 24 hours to let the water sit so that the, um, so that the compounds that the calcium and the other, the hard compounds can sink to the bottom of the water. So that um, you'll need about 24 hours to think about that if you can't get to some bottled water for that. You need access to hot and cold tap water. If you don't have a single hole punch, that's okay. You can use a scissor and you're going to be cutting in like six or seven millimeter squares rather than a single hole punch. Completely fine. You need a teaspoon and a timer. You can use your cell phone, but it has to be accurate to a tenth of a second. You need to crush up some small ice cubes. You should get a plastic trash bag or an old towel that you don't mind getting wrecked in case some of the hydrogen peroxide spills. You'll need a calculator for your analysis and you will be working in Excel for your analysis and using the CSE guidelines for making um, scatter plots and line graphs as we went over in our scientific writing lab. So you're going to be using um, these materials and um, I want to emphasize that you should be wearing your goggles and using your gloves and protecting your, your, um, your clothes by wearing your PPE during the lab. You have it, please use it. Um, again, hydrogen peroxide is a strong oxidizer. You do not want any pets or any younger children in the house to get a hold of this. And so please be responsible. Do not drink or eat or chew gum during this lab because you're working with other materials that may not go together real well. Um, so, um, you know, be a, be a lab scientist and um, make sure, please, that you read through this procedure. Do not rely on my videos alone. I spent a lot of time going through this procedure and I hope that you will too. For your prep, you are going to either take your um, single hole punch or you will take your um, scissor and cut up small pieces of your filter paper. They can be six or seven inch squares or they can be the single hole punch. Put them into your Petri dish to keep them nice. Um, get your, get your um, work area ready and get hot water running so that you can achieve a temperature of about 35 degrees Celsius for about 250 mLs in your beaker. All right. Then when you open your yeast, don't pour all the yeast in. You only need a level teaspoon of the yeast in the 250 um, cc's of the warm water. That is going to be your beaker of 100% catalase solution. All right, that is going to be that level teaspoon in the warm water is going to be your 
100% catalase solution and you are going to take one of your medicine cups and write on it with your grease pencil 100% catalase solution and that's it then you take from that 250 mls in your beaker you pour in 20 mls into the medicine cup that's marked all right um get your two pipettes mark one of them water mark one of them catalase here's my recommendation get another medicine cup just for the water i know you have two medicine cups you're going to be using one for catalase you're going to be using another for hydrogen peroxide i think you should have a third for bottled water that's my thing um i am going to stop here and ask you to go watch the two and a half minute video on the prep so you can see it and then come back here and we'll go over the activity one and the um in the details of the procedure we'll go through the the um, variables and the way it's set up so that you can have a better feel for the organization see you on the other side